Hello, my lovely viewers. It's Sarah behind the scene. So today I'm gonna make fried chicken with the sauce. It's pretty easy but delicious. So stay tuned for the full process. Thank you. So the marination, you're gonna start with uh, coriander powder, pepper, and a little cumin powder. Just as much as you like, you can adjust and then um, just mix it together. Alright, so after everything mixed together, the seasonings are absorbing, I'm going to pour in, this is a seaweed powder or jelly powder. I choose the healthy way, you can use a cornstarch or any starch you like, flour or whatsoever, carbs, but now I'm choosing the healthy way. So I'm using jelly powder or seaweed powder. Alright, so again, just mix it well until everything absorbing together and let's fry it Alright, just keep frying it until it's slightly brown like that. It's not too crunchy because we just want to cook it and then gonna do the next step. So the seasonings are pretty easy. I'm gonna blender them smoothly. Garlic, slots, lime leaves. That's the special lime leaves for cooking. Garlic, tomatoes and that's dried shrimps candle nuts and tomatoes right blended them smoothly in the blender i'm using a little bit of water and a little bit of oil and in the hot oil in the pan of course we're gonna fry or pan fry until it's slightly cooked and you can smell the aroma <laughs> in your kitchen i'm pretty sure if you do this your kitchen gonna be smell so good and you couldn't wait to eat <laughs> now i'm feeling it and i just can't wait <laughs> now we add in the fried chicken you can see because i'm using a seaweed powder so you don't see any flour stick in the chicken and things like that so it's really healthy all right look at that <laughs> it's really tempting right now the aroma it's really filling up my kitchen and <laughs> my brain and my stomach <laughs> i really can't wait oh what i just keep stirring and hurry up <laughs> and that's the cabbage it's almost done too so two easy ways to cook <laughs> Now let's add a little, not too much because the uh, sweet soy sauce, I don't really eat uh, sugar or sweetness, but well this is soy, not the sugar, so just a little bit. <laughs> add few drops of Worcester sauce.
look at that just keep stirring it until all the seasonings are absorbing and if you want an extra kicking taste you can add some more pepper coriander powder and cumin powder and also don't forget to add a pinch of salt not too much otherwise it's gonna be salty and salt with love <laughs> Oh, I added a bit, and um, in the marination, I didn't add salt because I'm afraid it's gonna be salty. So, just add the salt at the last moment when you are nearly done. Look at that nail! The time to serve. Take it slow. <laughs> Pour it slowly and make sure every bit of the seasonings pour in together with the chicken because uh, it's not too much gravy because i let it absorb dry and look at that Ugh, i'm drooling right now even the wok it's so clean everything just dropping into the bowl and i love that wok because easy to wash and everything is just washed off when you pour it <laughs> we put a little garnishing on top like lime leaves you can put any garnishing you like Thank you for watching from the beginning till the end and make sure if you try this easily simply delicious chicken recipe at home please come back to let me know how it tastes like and i promise you you won't fail stay healthy and stay around for more videos and delicious recipes i love you all see you next time soon Thank mm -hmm. you.